It took me a while to figure out why I was so in love with time-lapse that I figured it out. It reveals a sort of hidden dimension that we're living in, but we're not aware of it. When you're looking at the clouds, they look just like clouds, but when you speed them up, you see what happens, how they move, how they disappear. If you shoot a thousand photos and then speed it up, you reveal what actually happens and how those things work, and that's what's so captivating to me. My name is Matthew van der Pute. I am a Belgian living in Sydney, Australia, and I specialize in time-lapse photography. Time-lapse photography is a special niche type of photography where you shoot a series of photos and then later on combine them into a video file. So you're shooting photos, but you're creating video. You can shoot time lapses in many ways. You can shoot them using motion control rigs, you can shoot multiple cameras at the same time with external controllers or external computers. But to keep it simple, you can shoot a time lapse with nothing more than a camera, a lens and a tripod. The length of a time lapse shoot can vary from 20 minutes to 12 hours. I often end up with dozens or hundreds of gigabytes worth of raw photos. So I've set up two cameras here, two different angles, two different shots. One is shooting a medium shot of the city, the other one's shooting a wider shot of the nice golden clouds with the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. We're going to wait for about half an hour and then have a look at the photo. Time-lapse photography has been around for decades and it started by analog film where people would expose it frame by frame. Now we're at a point where every single phone has a time-lapse app built in, which means for me, over the last eight years, I've had to innovate and come up with new techniques and new ways of shooting to separate myself from the rest. Now when the day is done, when you're done shooting, that's not where it ends, obviously. I go by the rule, one day of shooting equals at least two days of post-production. So there's two days of me sitting in my editing cave, analyzing what I've shot, color grading everything, and then finally exporting an extremely high resolution video file. When I started shooting time lapses, it was nothing more than a hobby, and I always thought it would stay nothing more than a hobby, because who in their right mind would pay someone to sit around for a whole day and then spend, you know, multiple days editing and to eventually get only a handful of seconds of video. But as with any creative process, it is the classic case of the more energy you have to put in, the better the end result's gonna be. As it turns out, if you meet the right people with the right vision and the right budget and the quality of your work is high enough, you can actually make it work. So even though I didn't set out to be a commercial time-lapse photographer, my hobby just got wildly out of hand and here I am now.